How to use an online translator. The translator that we're going to be using today is called Google Translate. By default, it's already pre-built into Google Chrome, so I recommend using Google Chrome as your browser to do your translation. The first thing you need to do is open up your Google Chrome browser, so I already have it open here, and then navigate to the web page or the website that you want to translate. So as you can see, I'm on apple.com and I'm on the French version of the site and we're looking at the Apple Watch Series 6 product. I'm just going to scroll down here so we can see a bit more information about the product. Here we go, here's some information, but of course it's in French and I don't speak French. So how do we go about translating this web page? Well, if you're on the Google Chrome browser, all you need to do is right click anywhere on the web page and then you'll have an option to translate to your native language. So as you can see, Google knows that my native language is English, so therefore it's recommended to translate into English. All you need to do is left click translate to English for the web page to be automatically translated into English. So I'm just going to close this here and as you can see, all this French text here was translated into English. I'm also going to show you two more methods of how you can translate using an online translator. Again, it's going to be on Google Translate. So I'm just going to go to the next tab here and you're going to navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash translate dot google dot com. Once you're here, you'll be on the Google Translate page. So as you can see, on the left hand side here, you have the language that you want to translate from. And then on the right hand side here, you have the language that you want to translate to. So make sure you select here the language that you want to translate to, which for me is English. And on the left hand side, you can just leave it as auto detect language. Therefore, you won't need to specifically pick the language that you want to translate from. Let's go back to the previous tab to apple.com and grab the text that we want to translate. So I'm just going to left click here on the previous tab. And then as you can see, it's still in English, this web page. However, if we click this button here and then click French, it will put it back to the default language that it was in previously, which was French. So all we need to do is highlight all this text here and right click and then click on copy. Once you've done that, go back to your Google Translate tab here and then paste the French text in the text box on the left hand side here. So just right click and then click paste. And then automatically, Google will translate the text into the language that you selected on the right hand side here. So there we go. As you can see, the French text has again been translated into English. And now lastly, I'm also going to show you a third method of how you can translate using Google Translate. So I'm just going to click on the third tab here and this will take you to the Chrome Web Store. You can access the Chrome Web Store on the following URL, which is https colon slash slash chrome.google.com. Once you're here, make sure you have extensions selected and then above it, you'll have a search box here where you can search for Google Translate. So left click on it and then type Google Translate and then hit enter and it will search for Google Translate. As you can see, Google Translate is the second option down. So I'm just going to left click on Google Translate and now to add the Google Translate extension onto Chrome, all you need to do is click on the big blue button on the top right hand corner here, which says add to Chrome. Just left click on it and then you'll be greeted with the following notification, which says add Google Translate with a question mark. It can read and change all your data on websites you visit. You're just going to hit add extension. And then the Google Chrome Web Store will add the Google Translate extension onto Google Chrome. And there we go. As you can see on the top right hand corner here, you can see a Google Translate icon and you've also got a notification from it which says Google Translate has been added to Chrome. I'm just going to hit this X button here and then what I recommend doing is clicking on this little jigsaw piece icon here which is for extensions. Just left click on it and then you should see all the extensions that you have installed onto Google Chrome and as you can see Google Translate is here. I recommend pinning the extension onto your Google Chrome browser so you can have easy access to Google Translate for online translation. Just left click on it and there you go it's been pinned onto Google Chrome and now all you need to do to translate any text is just simply left click on the Google Translate icon here and there you go the interface is very simple you just put in the piece of text you want to translate and then just hit the translate button so let me type some French here I'm just going to type je suis bien 
and then all you need to do is left click on the big blue translate button here. Just left click on it and Google Translate will automatically translate the text you have either typed in or pasted into. And as you can see, it has detected the language which I typed in and then it has output my native language. And there we go, guys. That concludes the video. I hope these three methods of using an online translator, specifically Google Translate, have been helpful. If this little tutorial was helpful, please give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.